Perfect. Thank you very much. There's a couple of things I love about life. Scaffold boards are definitely one of those things. These are reclaimed scaffold boards that had splits in them, so they're cheap as chips, but they're not covered in concrete, so they're good to go. And the other thing I love is multifunctional furniture. Now, living in a houseboat, it's quite a small space. It's approximately 40 foot long. So I don't have room for a dining table. I wonder if I can make a dining table out of these scaffold boards that somehow folds away when it's not in use. Now, conceptually, that sounds quite easy. But in the real world, I suspect it will be quite tricky. For my shelf table, I'm going to build a set of shelves out of scaffold boards. The clever thing will be to use single screws to secure the shelves so they can all swivel. Then, when you're ready to eat, you can just pull the top of the shelves backwards to create a table, which is already laid for dinner. This is a complicated design, so the best thing to do before I start is to build a prototype. Now, in theory, pivot, the shelves stay horizontal, all your stuff stays on, and then it turns <laughs> into a wonky dining table. Nobody wants a dining table on the wonk, do they, particularly? Uh, blah, 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 blah. What has happened? I think I might be more confused than I was before, but no, I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. So the problem is that this piece here needs to go up to there. Underneath each shelf, I'm going to have to have a chock of wood which raises that shelf up so it's in line with that, and the chock of wood fixes into this. Yes, that's it, the chock of wood fixes into this, which means they can then go to that level, and then these will all be horizontal and lined up and I'll have a dining table and a shelving unit. That's the benefit of building a prototype. Make the mistakes before you do all the work and learn from them. It works. Just get on with it. I'm going to get on with it. I've got this fear that as the shelves come down, they're just going to catch like that. So I'm going to put a pencil in between, and that should give the clearance. Because you're just constantly having to problem solve, but that's what design's about, problem solving. That's what makes me tick. It's not a normal build, this, for me. This is actually so confusing. My head is pickled. It's kind of... I'm trying to work out two products at the same time and how to get from one to the other slickly without it collapsing and smashing everything I own. I'll be honest, when I thought about this product, I didn't think it'd be this difficult. <laughs> However, the design concept is a lot more complicated than I'd anticipated. Right, now, I'd normally just drill this with a handheld drill, but these holes have to be absolutely precision. Put some goggles on. Go. And they should be perfectly upright. It's always funny when you're working with reclaimed materials because you want it to look reclaimed, but it's got to be smooth, it's got to be safe. Now, I'm going to be subtle with this. I'm going to use this grey wax, which should nourish the timber and also bring out the grain. I know a lot of people out there, particularly interior designers, like to introduce pops of colour and stuff, but for me, in my home, greys, neutral tones, and then add colourful crockery, add colourful vases, add colourful cushions. I'm not a fan of colour, really. That's what I'm saying, isn't it? Right, that is done. Now for the fun bit, putting it all together. <laughs> Especially for the occasion, a fresh box of screws. So here's a good design. Box of screws, so many people just rip them open, but if you open the end carefully, like that, you can get them, they pour out, back in, happy days. Nothing worse in life than when someone opens a box of screws incorrectly. That is all present and correct. And that's going to form the front of that shelf as it comes up and down 
Do you know what I'm doing right now? I'm stalling because I'm nervous it's not going to work. Excited and petrified all at the same time. It works in my head. I've either screwed together a load of wood that will never come apart again, or I'm going to lift one end and it's all going to pivot gracefully and beautifully. It's really heavy. Come on. Why is it not hinging? Come on. That, that should hinge upwards. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yes! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> it's actually working. However, the bottom two shelves need to go where the legs are. No! So I've built a base that I think is going to work. They should slot in here and it's just a few bits of scaffold board you might be surprised to hear but the key is a couple of hinges here and here which means that's going to move out to take the weight of the tabletop when it's in table mode then you tuck this away and then it turns into a shelf hopefully <laughs> okay no more stalling. Let's flip it over. Quite nervous. Okay. Pop that out. That should hold it in table mode. That is the perfect size of dining table. It seats too perfectly. In fact, I'm going to set it just to show you. This dining table hopefully becomes. Oh! No, it's all worked. It's all worked. It's even going to clear the glasses. Oh my goodness. This is possibly the most ridiculous thing I've ever made, but the most satisfying. It's actually worked. Look at that. This is just screws in the end of a bit of scaffold board. It's not expensive engineering. It's expensive engineering principles, high-end concepts, but just with bits of timber. Slightly addicted to doing that. Total cost of materials, just 70 quid. It reminds me of my early caravanning holidays where everything had dual purposes. It reminds me of my small space design of my own home. This ticks all of my design boxes.